Hi, our post friends. Thanks for joining me for drawing together. This has been a very busy week, so it is making me think about time and space. And it gave me the idea to go chase the moon tonight. So I went and I took some photos and I'm gonna choose one photo in particular of the moon where it is only appearing in the bottom right hand corner. And the rest of the image is just about space and pause and just that silent moment that we can use to kind of rest our minds. So join me today as we draw the moon and all the space around it. Lots of times our image has a focal point of an object. And today our image is going to have a focal point of space, the, the absence of object. So I'm going to start with um, a line of trees here at the bottom. So this can just be a wiggly line. We're kind of abstractly representing the silhouette of some trees far away from us. Just make a couple of different groupings to represent um, trees that are different layers closer or farther away. Some are tall, some are short. You can just kind of make some random squiggly marks that represent a group of trees. And peeking through these little openings, let's go ahead and add the mountains. Now these are way, way far away. Just the idea that there may be mountain lines way out there. Now in this bottom right hand corner, when I caught the moon today, it was just coming up above the mountains where I could see it. So I'm going to drop in a circle shape. Okay, and remember the reason why we see the shape of the moon is because the space, the sky behind it is a deeper value. The moon is actually white. So I can begin to take the side of my pencil and bring up the sky, the value in the sky, to meet the value of the moon's outline. And I can just continue with this motion. And it's kind of very meditative as well, talking about space and calm. We're gonna fill in this entire sky here with the side of our pencil. You can see I still have these lines where you can tell the direction in which my pencil is moving. If you've watched our videos before, you've seen us use these. This is just a blender. It's a roll of tightly wound paper that when you go across your pencil marks or charcoal marks, if you happen to be using charcoal, um, you can blend the roughness of your shading and make it nice and smooth. And so this just kind of calms down the busyness um, that can be left over after we use a skinny lead pencil to shade a large area. Let's smooth that together. Now let's add some value to our mountains. When I'm looking at the image, the mountains have a deeper value than the sky, but the trees here have a deeper value than the mountains. So we'll step up the mountains and begin to add some value that's deeper than the sky. And still leave some room to go darker with our trees in the front.
has to achieve an even deeper value in the trees. There's a couple of different things we can do. Um, we can make more actual layers of pencil lead on the areas that we want to go darker with. So we can continue to just layer, layer, layer. Um, you can use some added pressure to this area, you know, push harder on your materials. Um, or you can go to a darker lead pencil or some charcoal um, or markers. You know, if you had some markers, you could add some ink to this image. So you can mix your media if you like to do that sort of thing. So I'm going to continue on here and build some layers of really deep value in these trees that are getting closer to us. Here you can see our three layers. We've got a nice light value in the sky. We've got this kind of middle ground for the mountains. We've got some darker textured look going on here in the trees. And now this, this blender um, has lots of lead kind of left over on the surface. So I'm going to just kind of tickle the moon here with this blender. And just by touching it very lightly, onto the moon, I can create the appearance of some of those, you know, man in the moon crater type shapes. And there you go. This is a very simple, very relaxing um, area to create space, focus on space using just a pencil and a smudger, a blender. You can do this at home and I encourage you to give it a try.